Hey everybody, this is Joel Wanasek with Unstoppable Recording Machine, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a reverse cymbal sound in your metal tracks. These are pretty cool and powerful tools for transitions and buildups. Everybody likes a good reverse cymbal, and it's an essential part of post-production. So let's learn how to make one. It's really simple. Here in Cubase, I'm gonna go and I'm going to add a track. I'm gonna do it in stereo. Now, you need a sample of a cymbal. It could be any cymbal. I recommend recording a dual crash, so the drummer will hit a left and right crash so that in a spaced or X, Y, or whatever you're using for your overheads, whatever type of pair, as long as it's split and you got a left and right, you get a nice stereo even hit and follow uh, file. So I recommend doing that. Um, I'm gonna load up two separate crashes here in a folder that I've got called crashes. So I've got a left and a right crash, so I have to actually do two tracks and I'm just going to go and I'm going to duplicate this here and I'm going to move this over. Okay, so I've got a right crash and a left crash Let's see to the left one. Now reverses are easy. What you're going to do is you're going to select both files. You're going to right click. You're going to go process and you're going to go reverse. Now I've got this Mac is key commanded to control R so it's fast and easy. Now we're gonna go to the spot where we want there to be a reverse. Now it's not gonna line up perfectly in the bar, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna pull it back, and then I'm gonna hit Control Alt and then click with my mouse and slip edit it. You see, so it moves the audio in the block. I'm gonna trim it, and then I can move the timing and pull it back so the transient of the snare then hits right at the downbeat. So now we have a reverse symbol. Let's hear what it sounds like. And the best part is that it is in stereo. So I'm going to link these selected channels so I can adjust the volumes together. Now I would go, if I were you, and I would export this as a single hit so you can make a reverse symbol very simply or just record, like I said, a dual crash. But let me balance this in and let's hear how it sounds. Wherever you are, don't wanna be left. Hold on, sorry, let me take out the reverse drop here and make sure there's no others that I forgot to cut out out of the original post-production. Okay, now we should have it. Wherever you are, don't wanna be left. Well, there you go. That is how you make a reverse symbol. Very quick and easy, a very powerful transition tool to bring your songs to life and transition out of parts that need a little bit of extra energy or emphasis. If you enjoy this video, please click like and subscribe for lots more mixing videos. I'd love to know how you're using reverse effects in your mixes. Please leave a comment below. Thank you. I'm Joel Wanasek, and this is Unstoppable Recording Machine.